Hi all, this is Pragya Shrastava, an educator on Unacademy. Follow me on Unacademy Learning app for your funny many more courses. And uh, just listen, let's study about the different types of pile available here. Pile foundation is much more common than any other type of deep foundation. A pile is a slender structure structural member can be made of steel concrete or wood it is driven either into soil or formed in situ by excavating hole and filling it with concrete a pile foundation is adopted when the soil has low bearing capacity or there is non-availability of proper bearing stratum at shallow depth or heavy loads from superstructure for which shallow foundation may not be economical or feasible. It is also provided when there is need for transmission of structural load through deep water to a firm stratum is there or else when the plan of the structure is irregular relative to its outline and the load structure distribution is there then a pile is needed to reduce the differential settlement pile foundation is provided in expensive soil or black cotton soil with swell or shrink with variation in water content so there piles are used to transfer the load below the active zone piles can also be used for foundation of structures like transmission towers offshore platforms which are subjected to uplift Let's see the classification of piles based on its function. Based on function, it performs, we can have end bearing piles. End bearing piles are also called point bearing piles and it is used to transfer load through its bottom tips to a firm stratum below. Here you can see a end bearing pile this is a hard stratum rock is there this is the point for which we are talking about this uh, and above this rock there is soft soil over here so our foundation needs to go to a firm base where rock is there to carry the load coming from the structure directly and these piles finds its use when load needs to be transmitted through water or it can be a soft soil we can have friction pile as well the friction piles transfer loads through skin friction between the embedded surface of the pile and the surrounding soil you can see here this is a friction pile and uh, do you know that these piles are used when a hard stratum does not exist at reasonable depth and here what you see that the load is transferred by this skin friction between the surface of the pile and the surrounding soil these are also called floating piles because these piles do not rest on any firm strata. We can also classify our piles based on its use. Based on use, we can say that our pile is a load bearing pile. If the pile is meant to transfer the load of the structure to a suitable stratum. 
this this function is basically performed by what we have read just now can be end bearing pile or a friction pile or there can be a combination of both end bearing and friction piles all these piles are load bearing piles but piles actually uh, serve many more purposes which we'll see piles we can have compaction piles compaction piles are driven into loose granular soil to increase the relative density here you can see piles are actually driven into the ground so that it densifies the soil beneath the bearing capacity of the soil is increased due to densification caused by vibrations we can have sheet piles sheet piles forms a continuous wall which is used for retaining earth or water and we have already studied about these sheet piles in our previous lessons these are also called bulkheads now we can have tension piles tension piles are in remains in tension and are generally used to anchor down the structure subjected to hydrostatic uplift forces or overturning forces here you can see a tension pile and these are the piles and these are used for anchorage used as anchors and these are also called uplift files then we can have anchor piles as well and there is the difference between these two tension piles and anchor piles let's see what's the difference the tension piles also provide anchorage so a tension develops here to hold the structure here in anchor piles these piles provide resistance against horizontal pull for a sheet pile wall and these piles are used to provide anchorage for anchored sheet piles this is your sheet pile and here the sheet pile needs anchorage and for that we have inserted the piles and these piles are known as anchor piles it gives anchorage to anchored sheet piles there are some more types of piles these are called fender and dolphin piles fender and dolphin piles are used to protect waterfront structure against the impact from ships or other floating objects you can see a fender pile this one is your fender pile and this is your dolphin piles these are provided with a view to protect the structure against impact from ships or other floating objects there is one more type this is called batter pile batter piles are used to resist large horizontal and inclined forces this is your sheet pile and on the back of it is provided a batter pile to resist horizontal and inclined forces well uh, study about some more types of piles and some other type of classifications are also there based on the material and its composition we'll study about that in our next lesson and before that you please go through the chapter and make yourself comfortable with these type of piles and please uh, keep studying you should know the different types of piles before we start designing piles so 
and so have a nice day